What's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector, back with another mail day video. Um, been hitting the hoops premium up really hard, just love this product. Um, targeting specific players, um, that's pretty much it. So I'm not buying boxes or packs to open or sets, I'm just going after individual players and I'm buying a lot of them. So here we go. <clears throat> DeAndre Hunter, these are the tribute cards not the like the other rookie card that's in there but I got 10 of these I have John Collins so I have a lot of John Collins I'm getting I got 10 of them for a buck 29 and then I think that other 10 I got for a couple bucks but again you know this is his third year card and um, he's gonna be a baller there's no doubt about it already is but yeah, I just love these um, hoops, premium, pulsars. Oh, I think there's uh, how many, 20 in here total? 21, here's one in the, in the top loader. And I also have uh, his green pulsar. And this one is not numbered, but it's just another color. Um, I got his cracked green ice, not numbered. I have, I think these are called flash, the red flash and optic. They're called shocks, but this one, I think they call them flash in these. This one's not numbered. Uh, this is just like the base card. Um, get out the way John Collins and then I have um, 10 Trey Young's um, some of these were not in the best condition but um, I would say about half and half but again as you know this is his uh, second year card so Five years down the line, it's probably gonna be worth something. Um, I got some Seku. So I got these by buying a Detroit team pack. And I bought three, four, five of these, maybe more, six total. Um, so I could get Christian Wood. And I have a ton of Christian Wood. One, two. So six of those Sekus. Um, and the one of the sellers threw this one in for free, which is pretty cool. Um, got some Colin Sexton Pulsar. And then I also got this regular Hoops. Uh, this one's numbered to 199. It's number 183 out of 199. Pretty good condition. Has a little dot down here, but nothing to really I mean, a nine, I'm guessing, if we got it graded. Uh, Marvin Bagley, the third. Usually if I'm going and I see somebody's got a bunch of different cards for sale, like singles, if they got these for a buck, I'll, I'll snag it. It's his uh, second year card. And then um, the seller from that other purchase actually threw this one in for free too. Donovan Mitchell. Um, I got... Dennis Rodman, I got this with a lot of uh, Christian Wood Pulsars. They had this for sale too, so pick that up. And then I got Magic Johnson 1988 Fleer. Uh, this one's pretty good um, all the way around. The centering is really nice. Uh, there's no flaking on the edges, no white showing in that gradient black area. Uh, the back is centered really well as well. And then I, it came with the, the all-star. I know the centering isn't great on this, but um, I was really eyeing up this one for the most part. So, got those two. And then I have some Jordan Noir. And I believe there's 18... I bought a lot of 19 total cards. Um, this guy plays for the Bucks, and he's a rookie. 
So I got some, just various ones in here, some cracked ice, and then just the base cards. Um, I'm a Bucks fan. I think this guy is just a pure, a pure shooter. Um, I don't know if he's going to get a lot of playing time with the Bucks this year, unless they're just totally spanking somebody, which usually happens every few games. Um, but man, he's a catch and shoot guy, and I think he's leading all rookies right now in three point percentage. But my thought is, if he ends up getting a bigger role with the Bucks, or even if he gets traded, or you know, I'm talking about years down the line. I mean, these these were like you know, cents each, 19 cards for like five bucks type of thing. So. Just kind of stockpiling some just to uh, kind of gamble on him, maybe making it to a team where he's way more of, of a uh, contributor, especially with his three point shot. And then I got his, uh, his green prism, not numbered. I got uh, a red prism, which is numbered to 299. Uh, red, white, and blue prism, not numbered. Uh, pink ice prism, not numbered. Red ice, not numbered. And then I got this one here. This one's a orange pulsar, which is number 249. So I've been kind of just targeting the serial numbered ones now. I know that it's not really wise to pick up a whole bunch of uh, draft prism cards just because they really just don't hold the value like a true rookie card does in their jersey but um you know what if it's numbered and it's a low number i'm gonna try to snag it and then i got um my christian wood stack and this is from the last since like saturday um here's an elite christian wood it is number 299 it's 91 out of 99 Really good condition. Um, I got three base NBA hoops premium stock. Um, I have one Mojo Prism, not numbered. Uh, two scopes. These are not numbered either, but they're just a different type of Prism card that was put out. Trying to collect the rainbow, maybe. Um, got some purple discos. These are flooding the internet right now on eBay. They're just a base pr uh, prism type of thing. They're definitely abundant. I don't think there's anything too special about the, the purple prisms besides they look really cool. But picked a couple of those up. Uh, I have a red flash which is not numbered. Uh, cracked blue ice, not numbered. Uh, green prism, this is not numbered either. I have two reds. These are not numbered either, but I love the fact that it's the same color as the you know the team colors on his, on his jersey. It just looks so much better. And then I have uh, four of the regular prism silvers, which look great, by the way. And last but not least, our my stack decks of pulsars and i have this these stacks i think there's 63 total seven So 63 of the, the, the Pulsar Prisms and uh, 
my gut just tells me to keep buying him because he's just going to end up being an all-star. Um, especially now with Harden being traded to the Nets, uh, he's going to be their like number one guy, possibly. I mean, I know they got Oladipo from, from uh, Indiana, but I think he's going to be the man at, you know, in Houston, or at, at worst, the number two guy. So he, he's definitely got potential um, to just put up some all-star numbers. And this is his second year of cards that we've seen. So besides this year, you know, if you look him up, the only thing you're gonna find is his rated rookie and the rookies card from 2015, 2016 Donruss. You'll find that and then uh like his contenders uh rookie ticket cards and other than that he jumps right into 2019 so um i think these are way undervalued that's why i've just been kind of hoarding them um and just hope kind of a gamble that um he makes it uh big in the next couple years um you know he's 25 years old he's got a few more years before he hits his prime so um yeah i got a good feeling about this guy and my gut is just telling me just like don't let up just keep buying those cards so that's what i've been doing hope you guys enjoyed the video really appreciate it uh you guys watching please subscribe if you haven't like the video hit the bell to be notified of new content and we'll see you in the next one thank you